Hello everyone and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to run Minecraft 1.13 fast with absolutely no lag. Literally we've seen FPS's go from 100 to 500, from 10 to 60. Tons and tons of improvement is what we've seen from this tutorial and these types of tutorials. And this one is updated with brand new tips for 1.13. But first, I want to remind you about our sponsor, which is Game Servers. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash MC server to get an awesome 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for just $1 per month. We use them ourselves and absolutely love them. Again, that is the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash MC server. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump on into this. So, we have the Minecraft launcher open here, right? That's where we're going to be starting this tutorial. That's where things are going to begin. So, once you're in the Minecraft launcher, you want to make sure Optifine's installed. Now, this tutorial does use Optifine, but Optifine is super simple to get. I have helped millions of people get Optifine, and if you want to see my in-depth tutorial on it, you can check it out at the eye right above my face up there. It's also linked in the description down below as the second link down there. Once you've got Optifine installed, this tutorial is very easy, and it's going to help your performance so, so much. But... Once you're in the Minecraft launcher here, what we want to do is click on the three lines up here. You might just have an X. If you have an X, don't click on it. But if you've got the three lines, click on that, then come over here to launch options. Then you should have an Optifine profile here. Now you want to make sure that it does say release 1.13-Optifine. If it does, you're good there. But then under resolution, you want to change it. Now, the smaller this is, the better, right? 854 by 480 will give you a very, very small Minecraft window, but it will reduce your lag a ton. I personally am going to uh, make this a bit bigger, right? I'm going to actually increase the size of this just so you guys can see what's going on inside the tutorial. So in my case, I'm going to do 1980 by 1080. I'm actually meant to do 1920 by 1080. That's 1080p there. I wouldn't recommend that for you, honestly. The smaller, the better. But um, that is what I'm going to go with just so you guys can see it. And if you get good performance after going with a smaller size here, you could come back and increase it so you can see more and more of the game. But once you've done that, you can come down here to JVM Arguments. And this is where, if you want to, you can add more RAM to Minecraft. Right here at the beginning, XMX1G means Minecraft will use up to 1 gigabyte. However, you can increase this if you want, but first you need to see how much RAM your computer has. To do that, come to the Windows icon in the top left for me. It's probably in the bottom left for you. Click on that and then just type in system, syst if I can spell it right, system information. Right, right there it is, system information. Click on it. It's going to open up this. Now, what we're going to be looking for is this right here. And as you can see, installed physical memory, which is your RAM, for me is 32 gigabytes. That means I could dedicate 16 gigabytes to Minecraft and be perfectly fine. But let's just say you have 8 gigabytes. The max I would recommend with 8 gigabytes is 2 to 4 gigabytes of RAM dedicated to Minecraft. 2 gigabytes for vanilla Minecraft should be plenty. So that's what I'm going to put in here. 2 gigabytes right there. 2G. You could up it if you want, but... Uh, that should work. Go ahead and click save. Come back over here to news. Make sure the Optifine profile is in fact selected there and then click play. It'll now open up Minecraft 1.13 with Optifine ready for us to optimize the game. What do you think about that pun? I thought that one was pretty good. By the way, I want you guys to post in the comment section down below letting me know what kind of FPS increase you get from this tutorial because uh, it's probably going to be a pretty big one. The first thing I'm going to do is log into a world here and just get a baseline. Baseline on my FPS. Now, I am going to have shaders installed and you're going to want to in uninstall those and that's going to boost mine probably a bit more than the average, but no matter what, this will boost your FPS a freaking ton. I promise you that. I, I, I can guarantee that if you look down in the comments, there will be tons of people saying their FPS increased 5x. So let's go ahead and jump into uh, this just tutorial world that I have in 1.13. And once we load in here, I'm just going to press F3 on my keyboard. And what that's going to do is show us the FPS. There it is. So if we look up here in the top left, we do have actually, it's saying 0 FPS. And there we go. Now it's it's dropping. So we've got 25 FPS, you know, somewhere around there, 20, 30 FPS, 40 FPS. That's where it's looking at. You know, we're getting highs of 40 with lows in the 20. So not too bad there. I'm going to take this and uh, use that as our baseline. We'll just say 35 FPS is our baseline with 60 FPS while standing still. Great stuff there. Now let's go ahead and just quit back to the title here. We're going to go into options and then we're going to go into video settings. 
and this is where we're going to be spending all of our time. Now, I'm going to assume that you're playing on a potato, right? That your computer is absolutely horrible, and you're just trying to get the best FPS that you can possibly get. If that's the case, this is the video for you, but I want to encourage you to change any and all settings that you want. If you want to play with shaders, you can give it a shot. If you want to increase your resistance, you can give it a shot, but I'm assuming that your computer is horrible, and you're trying to play Minecraft. This is going to be for you. It's going to be for you even if it's not, but this will help you kind of guide your settings. So, for graphics, we just want to go on fast. Render distance, we're turning it all the way down to tiny. Frame rate, leave that unlimited. For smooth lighting, we want it to be off. Smooth lighting level, make it off. Zero. View bobbing, it's not going to like affect FPS at all. You can leave it on or off, whatever makes sense to you. I like turning it off. GUI scale, the best thing you can do is that, which is a GUI scale 1 or small, right? The smallest you can get it. However, I'm doing a tutorial here and you guys can't see that, so I need to make it uh, as big as I can there, which is 4. So, use VBOs. You're going to want to leave that on or turn it on. That's going to increase uh, FPS quite a bit by using uh, Optifine Zone rendering method rather than Minecraft's one. Now, brightness doesn't matter where you keep your brightness. Personally, I like to leave it all the way bright. Attack indicator, not going to change FPS at all, but if you want to change it to something, you can. I'm just going to leave it the crosshairs because that's what I like. Dynamic lights needs to be off. Dynamic FOV also needs to be off and because what FOV is is whether it changes when you're running or not, and that does cause some lag, specifically if you have a bad graphics card. For shaders, we're going to go ahead and turn this off here. It's going to take me a second. I'll see you guys after a jump cut. When you turn off shaders, it typically takes a while, and it might actually look like your computer or Minecraft is going to crash. If that's the case, just wait. It, it'll eventually turn itself off. It's just a lot of stuff to deactivate. And that's what I was talking about. See, it says not responding right now. It looks like Minecraft's going to crash, that it's going to die, and that's not going to be the case, because there you go. It is now good to go. Go ahead and click done there. Now we're going to jump over here to our quality tab. And we're going to do mini map levels. Get this all the way down to level 1, which is where I would necessarily recommend it. It's not going to affect uh, performance too much. There we go. Off. So um, that's going to give you the best performance. But uh, it's not going to affect it too much. It actually says that. This option usually does not affect the performance. But typically turning something off and having the game not do a thing could help it. Mini map type will just do nearest. Anthropic filtering will turn that off. Anti-aliasing off. Clear water off. Random entities needs to be off. Better grass off. Better snow off. Off. Custom fonts turn that off. Connected textures need to turn that to, I think, fast. But it might have an off option. Let's see which one it has here. As you can see, taking a little while. This is also an alpha version of Optifine. Once the final version of Optifine is out, you won't have some of this lag. It'll still take a while to, you know, turn off a shaders pack, but for these menus, it won't be as bad. But Connected Textures is off. Natural Textures is off. Custom Sky is off. Custom Items is off. And then, uh, basically, everything else here is going to be off. So Custom Entity Models is off. Custom GUIs is off. And Emissive Textures is off. So, boom boom and i'll just see you guys when i've turned off custom guis and emissive textures as well there we go everything on the quality menu is either on off or fast or turned all the way down then we can click done now we need to come down here to the details menu click on that and for clouds we want those to be fast for trees we want those to be fast cloud height needs to be off default rain and snow needs to be fast you can also turn it off if you want but personally i like rain and i like snow in minecraft kind of switches it up turning it off is going to give you the best performance however Fast will still be okay, and if you see lag when it's raining or it's snowing in Minecraft, that's when it's coming in here and turning it off would be worth it, but I would recommend leaving it on fast just so you can have some variation. Sky, let's go ahead and turn that off. Stars, we're going to turn that off as well. Sun and moon, turn it off, but if you're like me and you like to have the sun, I'm going to leave it on, but that's up to you. If you're playing on a horrible computer, you can turn that off. Show capes, turn that off. Fog is going to actually be off. Fog start is going to be 0.08. Boom, 0 0.8 there. Translucent box needs to be fast. Held item tooltips, not going to perfect performance. You can leave that on. Dropped items needs to be fast. Entity shadows off. Vignette is going to be fast. Alternative blocks is going to be off. That one's going to lag for us. Swap colors is also going to be off, as is smooth biomes. So I'll go ahead and turn off swamp colors as well as smooth biomes there, and we are done with the details page. Over to performance, this is where things can get a little tricky, and it's going to depend on what you're experiencing in-game. But just for the default setup here, I'd recommend coming in here and turning on smooth FPS, which is going to make your FPS more stable and things like that. If you're having lag spikes, right, where it's just like feels like it's spiking and you're just jittering, 
come in here and turn that off. I'm going to leave that off here so we can see what my high FPS is. And if you want to see the highest you can get your FPS to post it in the comments, turn smooth FPS off as well. Smooth world, I would recommend turning that off off if you want to you know allow your fps to fluctuate and see the highest fps you can get but again turn smooth world on if you want to keep a stable fps which is probably the better one fast rendering i would recommend going ahead and turning that on and it's going to really help you here if you have a gpu if you don't have a gpu like an external gpu like i have a 980 ti gpu that's gonna help if you're using an intel gpu like intel graphics it might be best to turn that off because it's not going to be able to use your processor in that way but if you have an external gpu go ahead and turn that on you want to go ahead and turn fast math on and that's going to utilize your cpu right and everyone has one of those but if you have a really bad cpu like a really poor performing cpu like a core i3 like a really old core i3 or core 2 duo or something you probably want to leave that off i personally have a pretty nice i7 so i'm going to turn that on chunk update i want to leave that at one because it's going to give us a slower loading world like chunks are going to load slower but our fps is going to be higher dynamic updates is going to be turned on because basically when you're standing still it's going to be loading more and if you're moving it's going to be loading less because when you're moving you're going to be using the game more than when you're standing still hope that makes sense render regions you want to go ahead and turn that on and that's going to allow faster rendering of terrain let's say you're running a higher uh, render distance or something like that that's going to help for you and it's not recommended if you have integrated graphics cards so what we were talking about before if you're using intel graphics you want to turn this off but if you have an integrated gpu like i do you want to go ahead and turn that on lazy chunk loading go ahead and turn that on it's going to be you know smoother and, and load chunks better specifically in multiplayer if you leave that on so i'd recommend that smart animations that is going to be turned on because it's going to reduce tick lag which is like that jittery lag when you're kind of walking there and it's going to increase your fps and that's what we're going for here increasing our fps if we go ahead and click done there we can come down to animations this one's really easy just click the all off button there and we're done now go ahead and click on other and in here there's not really much you want to do i'm going to show fps which means it's going to show us the fps at all times and there's weather now if you want to turn weather off basically that means any and all weather at all such as rain snow all that stuff will be turned off it's going to make it faster but personally i like weather so i'm going to leave that on time if you want to make it like only day or only night you can do that making it only day will increase fps simply because mobs won't spawn but uh for me survival minecraft you need time and you need the night time full screen is going to be off auto save you could upgrade this to 30 minutes right if you're noticing tick lag saving could be the culprit i would recommend however changing it to three minutes because you could just lose up to three minutes of work if you think turn this up to 30 minutes you could lose 30 minutes of work in minecraft now i don't know about you but that's a ton of time for me however if you're willing to take that risk and lose up to 30 minutes you could change this to 30 minutes but three minutes is where i would recommend screenshot size doesn't matter and show open gl or show gl hours i would leave that on basically if you have any sort of graphics errors or things like that it will show you what it is so now we can go ahead and click done here click done again and i want to talk about texture packs right so as you can see here the default texture pack is what i'm going to have enabled there are texture packs that will allow you to increase your fps they basically make the textures in minecraft smaller to you know 16 by 16 or something like that i'm going to link the one that i recommend for 1.13 in the description down below as well as my video on how to install texture packs in minecraft 1.13 so go check that out and install that texture pack if you're still having lag after you've done everything in this tutorial if you're not still having lag right and minecraft Minecraft's running fine with default textures, then you should be good to go. But let's go ahead and click done there. So you can see we only have default texture pack. And then we can click done again. And I'm going to launch into this single player world, same one we were just on. And we're going to see what kind of an FPS increase we got. We were like 30 to 60 FPS before. And if we look up in the top left up here, right up here in the top left, 1600, 2000, 7,000, or not 7,000, 700, 2,300 with a low of 535, 700. Even if we walk around here, guys, that's staying stable around 2,000 FPS. I don't even know what kind of an increase that is. 100 times, I think, something like that. So that is, I think, very much so proof. And we're actually even running some data packs here. See that? There's actually a data pack stalled in this world, uh, which does actually decrease FPS some. So freaking awesome stuff there that is how you can optimize minecraft to be able to play it even with a crappy computer 
If you have any questions, post them in the comment section down below. I'm more than happy to help you out. Again, if you need to know how to install Optifine, that is linked as the second link down below, as well as at the eye right above my face. If you want to install shaders in Minecraft 1.13, I wouldn't recommend doing that if you have a super bad computer, but if you're like me and you're getting like even 700 FPS here, you should be able to run shaders. So I would recommend going and checking out that video, which is also at the eye right above my face. Anyway, guys, let me know what FPS you guys got in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for awesome Minecraft content nearly every single day. My name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I'm out guys. Peace.